Hello everyone, welcome to today's vlog. Thank you for watching this vlog and also to those who've had a chance to uh, watch yesterday's uh, service for the third Sunday of Easter. Thank you also to the people who I know are helping other people access these vlogs by helping them become um, uh, familiar, know how to use the technology that they have. If you know of anybody who you could help to uh, see them, uh, please do help them and spread our worshipping community as widely as possible wherever you may be uh, so that when we're physically able to meet again uh, this is a time of continuity time of praying and worshipping together and so let us pray O oh god make speed to save us O oh lord make haste to help us the grace of god is freely bestowed on us in the beloved blessed are you the god and father of our lord jesus christ for you have blessed us in Christ Jesus with every spiritual blessing in heavenly places. You chose us to be yours in Christ before the foundation of the world, that we should be holy and blameless before you. In love you destined us for adoption as your children through Jesus Christ, according to the purposes of your will. To the praise of your glorious grace, which you freely bestowed on us in the Beloved, in you we have redemption through the blood of Christ, the forgiveness of our sins, according to the riches of your grace, which you have lavished upon us. You have made known to us, in all wisdom and insight, the mystery of your will, according to your purpose which you set forth in Christ, as a plan for the fullness of time, to unite all things in Christ, things in heaven and things on earth, Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. The glorious grace of God is freely bestowed on us in the Beloved. Trust in the Lord with all your heart, and be not wise in your own sight. Trust in the Lord with all your heart, and be not wise in your own sight. In all your ways acknowledge him, and he will make straight your paths. Trust in the Lord with all your heart. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. Trust in the Lord with all your heart and be not wise in your own sight. Kindle in our hearts, O God, the flame of love which never ceases, that it may burn in us, giving light to others. May we shine forever in your temple, set on fire with your eternal light, even your Son, Jesus Christ, our Saviour and Redeemer. Amen. Our Gospel reading for, our Bible reading, sorry, rather for today, is from the second epistle to the Corinthians, chapter 6, beginning to read at the first verse. As we work together with him, we urge you also not to accept the grace of God in vain, for he says, at an acceptable time I have listened to you, and on a day of salvation I have helped you. See, now is the acceptable time. See, now is the day of salvation. We are putting no obstacle in anyone's way, so that no fault may be found with our ministry. But as servants of God, we have commended ourselves in every way, through great endurance, in afflictions, hardships, calamities, beatings, imprisonments, riots, labours, sleepless nights, hunger, by purity, knowledge, patience, kindness, holiness of spirit, genuine love, truthful speech, and the power of God with the weapons of righteousness for the right hand and for the left, in honour and dishonour, in ill repute and good repute, we are treated as impostors and yet are true, as unknown, and yet we are well known, as dying and see we are alive, as punished and yet not killed, as sorrowful yet always rejoicing, as poor yet making many rich, as having nothing and yet possessing everything. This is the word of the Lord. Praise to you, O Christ. might know these uh, famous lines. This day is called the Feast of Crispian. 
He that outlives this day and comes safe home will stand a tiptoe when this day is named and rouse him at the name of Crispian. Yes, it's from Shakespeare's Henry V and it's the speech by King Henry V just before the Battle of Agincourt in 1415. And uh, you might be familiar with the famous uh, film and you can see there Laurence Olivier in the 1940s as uh, King Henry V. Even if you've never seen the film, um, chances are you'll be aware of that. But, oh, well, you might prefer the uh, 1980s uh, Kenneth Branagh version. Uh, both films, in my opinion, equally good, equally marvellous, as is the music uh, for both of them. Well, the Feast of uh, the Battle of Agincourt fought on the, the A of Crispian, but actually, Crispy, Crispian is actually two saints, and Crispin and Crispianus, um, twin saints, literally twin saints, because they were twins. Uh, Crispin and Crispianus were actually shoemakers um, it, living in the third century, the, the late 200s. And I'm sure they were very fine shoemakers, but what they're remembered for is um, and being a great encouragement, a source of strength to the uh, Christians who were at the time persecuted in Rome. And they were persecuted so much that Crispin and Crispianus had to flee. And so they, they fled right across the Roman Empire. And this is Crispin and Crispianus making their shoes. They fled right across the Roman Empire and ended up, of all places, at Faversham in Kent, where they continued to make the shoes um, at the Swan Inn, which is still there. You can see it. This, this is the Swan Inn, uh, and the site of where Crispin and Crispianus um, made their shoes. Uh, there's a commemorative plaque to say uh, that this is where they lived. However, they were persecuted there too. And this time, instead of fleeing um, the persecution, uh, they stayed and carried on the Christian uh, witness, encouraging Christians in Roman Britain. And so were eventually uh, captured and executed. So as patron saints of shoemakers, Crispin and Crispianus are remembered because of what they actually did. Um, at that time, St Paul says in that uh, marvellous passage from uh, 2 Corinthians that now is the time, today is the day that we are called to act, just as Crispin and Crispianus did. And I think many of us at, at many times uh, would rather spend any time, uh, be anywhere at all other than where we are, uh, in the sense that we're looking either looking forward to the future um, maybe in hope of a, a holiday, maybe sometime this year, I don't know, uh, or something that we're looking forward to, something at work or at home or um, looking forward to doing something unusual. Or maybe looking forward in fear or, or dread and looking, seeing that something we don't really want to happen might happen in the future. Or equally, we might be tempted to spend time in the past to uh, look back with nostalgia, look back with thankfulness, look back with happiness, um, or even look back with sorrow or sadness or regret. And it's some, often said that sometimes we're like, um, the way we live our lives, uh, we'd rather live, look anywhere than where we, we presently are, rather like being a, a, on a horse, racing on a horse, that um, we uh, would rather, um, we, we need to look, be looking forward uh, to see that the horse is in front or we're looking behind to see how close those behind are to us. But St Paul says in that second epistle to the Corinthians, now is the time, this is the present time that God is at work in us. Now is the time that we uh, can open ourselves to God now is the time that we can be open to the response that God calls us to make. Now's the time that we are able to be open to receive God's grace. And above all, now is the time, the only time that we can act. We can look to the future, we can look to the past, but it's only in the present that we can act and let God's grace be at work in us and let God work his purposes in us and through us. At another point in that speech from 
Henry V. Uh, Henry say, King Henry says, Old men forget, yet all shall be forgot, but he'll remember with advantages what feats he did that day. Well, we only have today to do whatever feats it is uh, that God calls us to do in his name. In the spirit of Christ and taught by his example, let us pray trustingly to our Heavenly Father. And so as we pray for Christian witnesses throughout the world, may we, with all Christ's disciples and witnesses in our own time, share in weaknesses, gifts, victories and disappointments, but share and reflect your brilliant light and direct others to meet and to worship you and experience the joy of your peace. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Lord, we pray for all inhabitants of our world in their daily routines of work or leisure, the people necessarily at home at this time, but all who are in authority, all who have decisions to make, that they may truly represent the needs of their people and that we may all live in peace, one with another. 
Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Lord, we pray for all our loved ones, for our friends, our family, or all who've been part of our lives, for any people we have responsibility for, for any who we may have let down, for ourselves, and that your Holy Spirit may be shine brightly in our lives. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Lord, we pray for all who are undergoing a time of illness at this time, whether in body, mind or spirit, those recovering, those suffering in mental anguish, may all hold on to you to receive your strength and your love, knowing that in you we are all safe. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Lord, we pray that all who have died now may rise to eternal life in you, and that at our death we too may share your peace for ever. And so we offer you all our thanks and praise for your generous love and kindness to all your people, that we may show our praise in our generosity to others. Merciful Father, accept these prayers for the sake of your Son, our Saviour Jesus Christ. Amen. So we pray with confidence in the words our Saviour taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. Now the God of peace, who brought again from the dead our Lord Jesus, that great shepherd of the sheep, through the blood of the eternal covenant, make you perfect in every good work to do his will, working in you that which is well-pleasing in his sight, and the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, be with you and all whom you hold in your hearts this day and forevermore. Amen. Thank you very much, everyone, for sharing this uh, vlog worship today and for continuing to encourage others to do the same. So until tomorrow, take care and stay safe and God bless.